here into Chapter 4 of Transformations. We're on Day 2 of Section 4.4, which is dealing with dilations. So let's first off start off, how do we find a scale factor? Now, unless this is otherwise mentioned, your scale factor is going to be the image over the pre-image, and then you simplify it. So if you look, remember the image is the one with the tick marks, the prime. So if we look, what is the scale factor here? One way to kind of think about it is my original, my pre-image is this part right here, the P. But then my image goes from C to P prime. So when you think of that, if you look at those two again, you have here to here. So the scale factor has to be bigger than one because it is causing that image, that pre-image to get larger. So if we want the scale factor, so K is going to equal the image, the image would be 12 over the pre-image eight, we simplify it, both of them can be divided by four, so we would end up with a scale factor of three halves. Okay, let's come down here to the second one. So again, we want the image value from C to P prime, which would be 18, and then we want the pre-image value from C to P, which would be 30, and when we look at that, 6 goes into both of those. So it would give me a scale factor of 3 fifths. I know that value has to be less than 1 because if you look, your pre-image is larger than your image. So it shrunk, it reduced. So that tells me that value has to be less than 1. Okay, now similar figures... Um, simply say that similar figures are the same shape but different sizes. The two figures are similar if their sides are proportional. Now, if you remember what a proportion is, a proportion is where we set two ratios equal to each other, and we can find missing sides by cross-multiplying. Okay, and then we can solve equations. So, in other words, that means that there has to be a common scale factor to get you from each side in the pre-image to each side in the image. Okay, so for example, here's how we could test this. If I look, what is similar here? Well, I have H to K, this side here, goes to this side. That is called corresponding parts. So HK is corresponding to QT. So if I set that up into a scale factor, it would be a 5 to 15. Okay, let's try another one. If I go HI to QR, 5 to 15. If I go IJ, to RS, 2 to 6, and if I go KJ to TS, that is a 7 to 21. But you might be looking at those going, but Mr. Waller, those aren't the same. Well, let's try them. What we're going to do is simplify if we can. Well, 5 goes into both 5 and 15, so that would simplify to one third. 5 to 15, that's going to simplify to 1 third. Here, 2 to 6, I can divide both of those by um, 2, and that gets me 1 third. Here, I have 7 to 21, I can divide those both by 7, and I get 1 third. You will notice that all four of these have a common ratio between the first image to the second. So what that would tell me is the statement that we are looking for is I would know HIJK is similar to QRST. Now, notice how I listed those letters as well. 
those letters are very important because it also tells me what sides are corresponding, meaning what sides go together. H, I, and Q, R, I, J, and R, S. We also have J, K to S, T, and then you would also have Q, T to H, Q, okay, or H, K, sorry. So understand by saying they're similar and the statement that we use um, tells me which sides are uh, corresponding. We also, hopefully you notice, that is the symbol for similarity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this idea of scale factors along with this idea that the sides are proportional to be able to find missing values in a shape or a figure. So if we look here, it says, is triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF? If so, what's the scale factor? Okay, so if we look at this, this is telling me AB3 is to DE6. Well, if we simplify that down, that's a half. So now, if I'm thinking about this, would 4 be half of 8? You bet. Would 5 be half of 10? You bet. So they all have the same scale factor. So yes, it is similar. So what's the scale factor? The scale factor would be 1 half. Okay, that's what's getting me from the ABC triangle to the triangle DEF. Okay, let's try another one then. Here, is triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF? Well, again, we start off. AB goes to DE, so 2 to 7. So now we keep going. Well, what about BC? Well, BC is 2. EF, that's 7. So far, so good. Let's try the third one. 3 to 13. Are all of those equal? Well, the first two are, but the last one's not. So we would say no. These, we would say no. These are not similar. Okay? So therefore, we don't have to worry about a scale factor because there is no scale factor that leads me from one to the other. Okay, so now what we can use is that concept of scale factor to be able to solve for the missing sides. So if we start off, I know that 15 is matching up, they're corresponding to 10. So 15 is to 10 as, well, notice I started with the 15, X is to 12. So what that tells me is when I look at this, I have 15 to 10 and in order for these to be similar, which I'm told the figures are similar, then I also know X has to go to 12. So then what we can do is we can cross multiply this. So when I cross multiply, I end up getting 10 X equals 180. I would divide by 10 and I end up getting X to be 18. Okay. Now, Notice if I pick the other combination. What if I went 21 to 14? So 21 is to 14 as x is to 12. Would that also work? Well, we go 14x, and then we take 21 times 12. So that is 252. We take that, we divide it by 14. And we end up getting 118. Notice, doesn't matter which combination we use for our scale factor because they have to be similar. So since they have to be similar, then that scale factor has to be the same for those. Okay? So you pick one that is completely filled in. You have both parts to it. And then you set that equal to the ones that you are missing. Okay, let's try another one here. So if I look, which one's completely filled in? Well, I see that 
30 and 18 are corresponding, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go 30 is to 18 as 35 is to x plus 13. Now at this point to solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to go 18 times 35. And that gives us 630 equals, now I'm going to multiply 30 times x, 30x. But remember, I also have that plus 13. So I have to take and multiply 30 times 13, which is 390. At that now, I'm going to come back up here just to have some more room. So I have 630 equals 30x plus 390. At that, I'm going to minus the 390. So that would get me 30x equals 240. Divide that by 30. And that's going to equal 8. So what that tells me is in order for those sides or that figure to be similar, x would have to be an 8 which would make this entire side be 21 in length. And then it would have a common scale factor. Now, I do want to show you one little thing on this one. If you wanted to, you could simplify your original ratio. Both of those have a 6. So to make your numbers easier, you could have used the factor, the scale factor of 5 thirds. And then that would make your numbers just a little bit easier as you work through. All right, let's try a couple more here. So if we start off, I notice here I have a 10 is to 25 as 14 is to 3x minus 1. At this now, we're going to cross multiply. So we're going to go 25 times 14 which is going to give me 350 equals, and then you're going to go 10 times 3x, which is 30x, 10 times 1, which is 10. We're going to add our 10 to both sides. So now we have 360 equals, 360 is equal to 30x. I'm going to divide by 30, and that's going to give me actually um, 12 is equal to x. Okay? Last one. Let's try this one. We have 30 is to 25 as 42 is to negative 7 plus 6x. Now, we could do this one the way it is. I'm going to I'm going to change it up just a little bit just to show you. Uh, 5 goes into both of these, so I'm going to make this 6 over 5 instead, so that just makes the numbers a little bit easier to work with. So now we're going to take 5 times 42, which is 210, and then I'm going to take 6 times that, which is negative 42, and then I'm going to go 6 times 6x, which is 36x. At that now, I'm going to add the 42 to both sides. So that would get me 252 equals 36x. We take that now and we divide that. So I end up with 252 divide 36. And that comes out to give me 7 is equal to x. So in order for those figures to be similar, the x here would have to be 7 which is going to give me 42 minus 7, which that side would have to be equal to 35. Okay? And that is how we use scale factors to talk about similarity, how to prove things are similar, and as well find missing side links.